cleantech company, Clean Industry Solutions Holding, have published their report for the fourth quarter in 2022, as well as the year-end report. To comment on that, I have CEO Christian Saller and CFO Jochen Lachnit. Welcome to both of you, and please, uh, Jochen, since it's, it is your first appearance here, would you please give us a brief introduction to yourself? You're very welcome, Matthias. Uh, I started at Clean Industry Solutions as CFO just over two years ago, and before that I gained in over more than 20 years experience as a controller and CFO in various industries, most of it in fast-growing companies, and that's why I'm at the right place here. One of my most important tasks is to create and optimize structures and processes that enable efficient growth. And another is to ensure that we achieve our goals through a KPI-based corporate management. Okay, thank you, Jochen. And let's move back for today's to main topic, uh, the, the fourth quarter report and the year-end report. And um, if I turn to you, Christian, what is your feelings when you look at these reports? Of course, I'm very glad that we're finally leaving this uh, pandemic low of our business. And that special industrial solar is now growing so quickly. But on the other hand, it's, a, it's kind of sad that a war was pushing this demand for renewable energy solutions to this high level. And in Q4, we had now the highest increase in revenue in the history of the company. And I have the impression that now it's a time for our business model. And I'm very happy to, uh, to see this effect. Okay, and uh, Jochen, if we start looking at the fourth quarter, you increased the income to 7.9 million Swedish kronos uh, in the quarter, an increase by, by 1100%. Uh, uh, so, uh, compared to the fourth quarter in 2021, uh, and your operating result was minus 4.6 million Swedish kronos. How do you comment these uh, numbers? Yeah, of course, we are more than happy about this enormous growth, as it shows that we made the right decision with our pandemic-related realignment. Most of this growth, growth has come in the area of photovoltaic installations. However, it is equally important that we are able, uh, sorry, that we were able to invoice several paid design studies for Fresnel projects last year. These are in fact the basis for commissioning Fresnel installations with a value of several 10 million uh, Swedish krona in the future. The fact that the operating result is lower than the pri uh, previous year is mainly due to the fact that we have built up personal resources in order to secure future growth. These were not yet all productive in 2022, which led to this deterioration, but this will change in the next year. Okay, and Christian, did you have any comment to the numbers? No further comment. Jochen was already making it clear the effects, the growth, and the, but unfortunately the losses were also growing because we were ramping up the, the human resources. Um, but this is a typical effect in such a phase of growth. Christian, you stated in the CEO note uh, of the report that uh, Ursula von der Leyen uh, speech at the World Economic Forum in Davos, uh, she mentioned the, the Green Deal industrial plan. Uh, that aims to make Europe the market leader when it comes to clean tech. Uh, given your growth in sales during the fourth quarter, you might think that the plan is already in place, but it's not. How are you positioned to capitalize on this plan? Yeah, I'm really excited to see this strong commitment of the European Union to renewable energy. And we uh, at Clean Industry Solutions and our subsidiaries, uh, Industrial Solar and Solar Spring, we are ready to play our part, our role in writing the history of clean tech economy. Our two subsidiaries have the experience and have the expertise to, to help industries and our technologies, uh, such as the frontal collector and our holistic approach, they're paying off and we will be more than happy to deploy more systems sooner. And we hope that this program of the European Union will help us to do so. When do you expect, let's say, in what quarter do you expect the market to notice uh, the execution of this plan? That's a good question. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the European Commission. As far as I know, the typical uh, processes for proposals, this might take a couple of months, um, if not even a bit longer. <clears throat> yeah. 
Uh, and if we move over to the financial side of this uh, plan, Jochen, what, what can this mean to a clean industry solution? Yeah, as I said earlier, we are very well prepared now to realize further growth. We have brought the right personnel on board in the recent months to make this possible. And we will be able to do this without signif significantly increasing our personal costs in 2023. Okay, and uh, in the quarter you also did uh, perform the shared issue. Uh, could you tell us something of the interest of the subscription on units in October? Yes, sure. I mean, I'm very glad that under these really, really harsh current market conditions, almost half of our shareholders subscribed with the support of unit rights and another roughly 6% were subscribing without the support of unit rights and the rest was filled by the underwriters. So I think for the time being, for the current situation on the stock exchange in times of war in Europe, in times of rising interest rates to fight inflation, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful. And uh, if I hear of the results of other companies doing um, rights issues or capital increases, I think we were good and, and we should be happy with this result, definitely. Thank you. Uh, your year-end report shows the same pattern as the fourth quarter, an increase of sales and uh, increase of loss. Uh, what can investor, investors look forward to during 2023, if I can start with you, Christian? Yeah, I mean, as uh, Jochen said, we were ramping up the size of our team in expectation of more and larger orders. And as those new colleagues cannot be instantly productive, they need some time for onboarding integration in the team. So we hired new people before having the order signed. And what we expect now is further orders and decreasing losses during this year, as we will not significantly increase the, uh, the personal cost. Okay, and if I turn to you, Jochen, uh, what is uh, your take on 2023? I'm very positive about 2023. There's enough demand on the market and we are well prepared to meet it. I also expect for 2023 that our margin growth will not be accompanied by significant, by significant growth in personal costs in particular. And that our loss situation will thus improve significantly. Thank you, Clean Industry Solutions Holding, for those answers. And to the audience, thank you for watching.